What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my crazy jungle. Now if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today's video was probably one of the craziest things that I have ever had happen here at my zoo. Yesterday I went into my incubator and I found two tortoises that were born literally fused and stuck together, conjoined by the yolk sac. So if you guys wanna see these tortoises stuck together, you wanna know what's going to happen with them, well guys, you are in the right place. But first, we have got to go check on my turtle ponds in the back because earlier today, my mom called me, she told me she saw some turtles that were laying eggs, so we're gonna head over there and we're gonna go see if we can find some eggs. And before we go any further with today's video, well, I just wanna give a special thank you to Beast Lords for sponsoring today's video. Beast Lords is one of my absolute favorite games to play. They have over 10 million downloads globally. And if you're a fellow animal enthusiast like me and you love monkeys, mini cheetahs like Cheech, and even Black Panthers, Beast Lords is a strategy game centered around the animal kingdom where we gather various beasts, guide them through uncharted territories, construct our kingdom, and extend our dominion. It's like our own little sanctuary here. We have leopards and jaguars and many more animals. I mean, we're dealing with some of the craziest creatures of the jungle. And with graphics so realistic, you could mistake these animals for the real thing. And for me, my favorite animal of all is the lion. We're talking the true king of the jungle that's full of power. This majestic beast isn't just about raw power, it's got this killer combo of command and leadership talents which sets it apart from the pack. We're talking next level strategizing and leading your team to victory. You're gonna get the lion on the second day and this bad boy is ready to pack some serious punch on the field. I mean, just look at Max. Wouldn't you want to have your own personal lion in just two days? So if you guys want to check out Beast Lords after today's video, well, guys, all you have to do is click the link in my description, use my code BL777, and you guys are going to get special in-game rewards to help you conquer the jungle. All right, guys, we are heading over to the turtle area to dig up some turtle eggs before we get into today's video on our tortoise. Hannah is already over there and she is waiting for us. Hannah, you ready? I'm ready. So basically we already dug up eggs in here a couple weeks ago because it is springtime. So we got the first eggs inside of here. We definitely don't have fertile eggs in here because it's all females. We have a male in here, but the pond we're going to search today, you already know which one it is, Hannah, right? It's this one right here. It's this one right yeah. here. There, oh, there's movement. There is? There's movement. So there was a turtle. I think the turtle was just eating here. As you can see, we've got all of these turtle pellets here. So the turtles were definitely eating there. And if you guys have not met my sister Hannah, well, this is Hannah. This Hello, right here hey. is Theo Jr., our monkey. My baby. That's some of Hannah's merch right there of Theo Jr., which is absolutely adorable. So today, Hannah and I are going to be digging around in these ponds once again. We most likely have eggs in here because this is the time of year that Indian spotted lay eggs. And I was just talking to a friend of mine, and he had eggs yesterday. So I was like, okay, if he had eggs, well, I might as well check it out so all right Hannah you ready for this I'm ready yeah. all right I'm definitely I'm ready so we're gonna come right over here we've got our little bowl here and we are getting ready to actually dig for these eggs so we're gonna get our bowl right here and to get started basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for some disturbed area so what I'm noticing right here is you can see that this ground and this dirt right here seems disturbed right over here it's nice and compacted it doesn't look like it's been disturbed right here it looks like it's definitely been disturbed and you can see that the ground is all loose here whereas right here it's much harder now this stuff that you're seeing that's loose here I actually poured in here so we know there's nothing there but when we get past it it's hard solid ground but right here you can see my finger almost goes all the way in which makes me think that there is definitely a nest here but there's only one way to find out and that is to dig them up but first we've actually got to get this turtle out because if you guys don't know what's living in this pond you definitely have to find out so before we dig up these eggs I'm gonna come over here right now and we are gonna reach inside and we're gonna start feeling around this turtle could be anywhere she's big she oh I got her I got her in the first try I got her I got her. Gosh. Guys, look at this. Look at this ginormous Indian spotted turtle. She's absolutely gorgeous. You can see this beautiful head of hers, and you can see she is one big turtle. These are one of the larger turtles that you can own, and honestly, one of my absolute favorites. These are absolutely beautiful, and as babies, they look like this right here on the screen. These are freshly hatched babies from this mama right here. These were her babies last year. They're absolutely beautiful, and as little babies, they're honestly my favorite turtles. So we're gonna let this pretty mama back inside 
the pond right here. We're just gonna let her back in. And we've also got dad, and I can see dad right here. Guys, come take a look. Dad is right here. You can see, if we move it, you can see dad is right here. Move, 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 I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna grab the dad. I got him, I got him. Look at that. <laughs> we got dad, and dad is a little prettier than mom. You can see that dad has got those beautiful yellow spots on his head. He's got an absolutely beautiful shell. This is one stunning turtle. I'm so happy to have these guys, and hopefully soon we'll have a much larger ponds for them. Actually, nice display ponds that are crystal clear, where these guys are gonna get to bask and have a lot of fun. So we're gonna let this guy back on down like this. We're gonna put him back in his pond, and now we are gonna start trying to dig for these eggs. Because, whoa, he was splashing around. But basically, to get started, we're just gonna come here. We're gonna move all this stuff. We definitely don't want this stuff in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this dirt right here. We're gonna break it up. What I wanna do is start moving this loose dirt, because I am think there's gonna be eggs. Oh, there's something here. Oh, I think Did I you feel- you spot them already? No, I feel something, though. Okay. I feel something. Wait. Oh. What is that? There's, it's, it's a piece of water lettuce under there. Mm -hmm. Now, I, the only thing that makes sense is that the water lettuce is under there because it got stuck in the hole when the mom was digging a nest. Could be a test nest, but there's eggs you right here. That? Yep. Oh my gosh. I see the eggs. There's little tiny eggs right here. So we're just gonna keep digging. Now guys, this turtle in the past has laid a lot of eggs. We could be dealing with up to 30 to 35 eggs. So guys, comment down below right now. How many eggs do you think she's gonna lay? So now that we know there's eggs, we are gonna put some of the substrate inside of here and we're probably just gonna leave the eggs inside of here while they're incubating. And that right there should be a good amount. And just by moving the dirt around, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five eggs. So we're gonna pull our first egg out right here. Let's see, we got our first egg right here. Look at that. You can see it's beautiful, it's big, much bigger than the pink belly eggs, but we don't wanna move it from this position because this is the exact position the mother laid it. And if that embryo is set and it's been more than two days, if we move the egg and rotate it, it'll actually kill the embryo. So nice and gently, we're gonna bring that egg down here and we're just gonna place it just like that inside of the substrate. And now that I've moved that, we're gonna move this over. If we move this pocket, you can see there's all these eggs here. And if we just raise this up just like oh this, gosh. you can see we just moved it. And you can see there's a million of these little beautiful gems right here in the hole. It's absolutely amazing. It's so much fun. And no matter how many eggs that I find, this never gets old bringing new life into this earth. Look at this, absolutely beautiful. And we can see that the embryos are set because you can see that there's this white chalkiness. If you look right here on this part of the egg, you can see that it's much darker right here. You see the white is almost chalked over and that chalking means it's a fertile egg. So we're gonna take these eggs right here and we're just gonna place them inside of here just like this. And we're gonna keep digging them up and see how many we can find. The next morning. And just like that, I think we've found our last egg. So as you can see from the bowl, I don't even think we could fit one more egg. And by the looks of it, we do not have any more eggs. Now this would be the only clutch that this female would have laid inside of here, so we're not gonna dig any more. So guys, look at this right here. I honestly have no idea how many eggs we have, so go right now, stop what you're doing, and screenshot this right here, count the eggs, and comment down below. It's gonna be too difficult for me to count them, I'm gonna lose track of it. So guys, now that we dug up our Indian spotted eggs, it's absolutely amazing. We're gonna take these eggs inside, we're gonna get them in the incubator, and inside of the incubator is the tortoises that are literally stuck together at birth. So guys, we're going to go check those tortoises out. We're going to be cutting them in half and separating them. You guys are not going to want to miss it. So guys, let's head in and let's go save these turtles. All right, guys, we are going into the office now to check on the incubators. Now, like I was telling you guys, we have tortoises that are literally stuck together here. So in here, we've got all of our eggs incubating and pretty much almost every day now we're having tortoises hatching out. So there's really nothing in here that's hatching out. These are all the newer eggs, but right in here, these are the eggs that are hatching out. And guys, you are not gonna believe what I found yesterday. And it's honestly, I've never seen it before. So we're gonna bring these guys out because these are all the tortoises that have hatched out. They're inside of these bins. But what I do wanna show you guys right inside of here is that we have eggs hatching out. So the little tortoises actually came from these eggs right here. So these eggs are where the baby tortoises came from. And before I show you the tortoises that are stuck together inside of here, 
Well, we've got to check on this little guy first because we just kind of brought them out and look at him. Oh my gosh. So right here, this little baby red foot just hatched out and you know he just hatched out because if you look on his backside, he is still absorbing his yolk sac. So this little yolk sac when he came out was much bigger and much larger. And this is going to give him the food and all the nutrients that he needs to grow up to be a strong, healthy tortoise. But today we actually had some cherry heads hatching out. So we're going to pull these out and guys, you're not going to believe how these tortoises are fused together what we found so right inside of here we have a little cherry head that's kind of hidden in here so we're going to kind of move the moss and if you look this guy has his yolk sac except the yolk sac is actually much bigger and we actually put him in moss so he could absorb it so we just want to lightly and gently remove it so you can see it's this little tiny white ball and this tortoise is actually significantly smaller than this guy so the tortoises can hatch out at all different sizes you can have them come out tiny almost the size of a quarter or you can have them a little bit bigger and they're like a silver dollar so we're going to leave these guys to be for the time being because they've got to absorb their yolk sac so we're just going to cover them in the moss which is going to give them a lot of humidity so they don't dry out so we're going to get these guys put away and then we're going to check on the tortoises that are stuck together and we're going to get this tub right inside of here we're going to close the door we're going to get our latches on and now the moment all of you guys have been waiting for the reason why you guys are here today is because we are going to have to separate and cut in half these two tortoises so we're opening it up right now and we're going to take a look at them now what's really sad and what's really concerning about this is one of the tortoises is actually a little bit deformed so we're going to come here right now and you guys are going to get to see them so you can see that we're pulling them out and these tortoises are literally stuck and fused together now this little guy right here that i'm touching he actually does not have his eyeballs formed at all this this is going to be a special needs tortoise and honestly we are not sure if he's going to make it but we're going to give him the best possible chance he's going to need a lot of TLC but first before we can even think about rehabbing him we have got to separate these two because as you guys can see I'm trying to be as gentle as possible because if I don't do this well it could get infected so this is a typical practice a lot of people will do this with goats when they want to actually neuter them and we're going to do this with a tortoise a friend of mine has had a lot of success and a lot of luck we're actually going to be tying a little piece of dental floss in between them and each day we're going to tighten it just a little more and then it's naturally going to separate and fall off rather than just cutting it straight away that's going to be the best possible practice right. to get these guys separated we're going to need some dental floss we're going to need to wash our hands and we're going to need a plate so let's go get all those supplies and let's help these tortoises out so to get started today we are going to actually have to pull out our dental floss so we're going to take our dental floss right here and we're going to pull out about i would say this much dental floss so we're going to take it and we are going to cut it if it wants to cut and this right here here is what we're going to use. Perfect, beautiful dental floss. So now that we've got our floss, we're going to get these guys loaded on up onto the plate right here, and we're going to set them up. So you can see that there's actually all of this crazy stuff right here, and it actually looks like it's separating naturally on its own. So again, guys, this is a very unfortunate situation here that these guys were born into. We definitely know that this guy is going to survive. We're not sure about the little guy, because again, one tortoise wants to go one way, the other wants to go the other way, and that is actually going to injure these guys. So it's really unfortunate that they were born into this again but we decided to put some gloves on so we'd be extra clean here so basically this is a little bit tricky we're going to get the floss right here and what i want to do is i just want to do a simple loop but this makes it a lot more difficult when you have gloves on because you don't have the same grip so we're going to actually leave this string um, we're going to cut it. So right now what we want to do is we want to cut the extra slack. We don't want to have all this extra loose string. So the floss is just a little bit hard to cut. So we got our little scissors right here. But we're going to leave just enough to where we can actually still grab it and actually tighten it. So we're just going to cut it just like that. And as you can see, it's tight. It's cut and we're actually going to tighten it just a tiny wee bit more because again we want to make sure that it's not too tight but we do want to start getting that circulation cut off so these tortoises will naturally separate so you can see he's opening his mouth and you can see it doesn't look like he has his nostrils his nostrils and his mouth are kind of all connected as one and i don't know if you guys can see it we'll try to zoom in as much as we can to get the best shot for you guys but we are not sure on that at all so guys again we don't know if this guy is going to make it both could pass away one could make it one could die we have no idea but all we have to do is hope and pray so guys what i want you to do right now is comment down below a prayer for these tortoises so right now we're going to take our two tortoises and now the waiting games begin we are going to give it a few days to see if it falls off we're 
we're going to be tightening it every day a little bit more but honestly by the morning it could be falling off but we're not sure again this is nature so i would probably say about two or three days and these guys are going to be good and ready to go so for the time being we are going to put these two tortoises back inside of the moss cup this is going to be the best place for them to hang out because we don't want them to move around too much if they have enough room to move around one tortoise could go the other way and it could actually separate the yolk sac unnaturally so we don't want that to happen so what we're doing right now is we got these little guys inside of the cup right here and we are just going to close them on up again we can't limit their movement too much because these are living beings so they're going to kind of move around but they again they've been like this since yesterday so i think they're going to be okay so that is going to end today's episode i hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video cutting my tortoises in half we didn't literally cut them in half but basically that's what we're doing here so if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below a prayer for these baby tortoises if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me you want to know what happens to these baby tortoises you want to know if they make it well guys all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below oh hey i didn't see you there i just wanted to remind all of you that if you have not yet to make sure to download beast lords today